Lalith was born in a family of lawyers on 26 November 1936 in Colombo. He was a product of Royal College Colombo, where he not only excelled in studies, sports including athletics, cricket and tennis he was also the co-editor of the college magazine, member of school debating and English Literature Association and more, he went on to represent Sri Lanka at the Mirror Youth Congress in New York. In 1955 Lalith enters Oxford University. He was an active member, engaging in many activities. He was elected as the Secretary of Oxford University, then as the Treasurer. It was in 1958 he became the first ever Sri Lankan to be elected as the President of Oxford. Same year he earns his BA Honours in Law. Come 1962 he enters Harvard Law School on a scholarship and graduates from Harvard University with a LLM in 1963. He was fluent in Sinhalese, English, Tamil, German and French. Lalith was admitted to the bar as a barrister to the Gray's Inn in 1959. From 1960 to 1962 he served as a law lecturer at the University of Singapore. Following year served as the Associate Dean of the Legal Faculty of the University of Singapore. During this period he was the visiting lecturer at the Hebrew University in Israel, the University of Edinburgh and the University of Allahabad. Returning to Ceylon in 1964, he took oaths as an advocate and started his legal practice. From 1967 to 1974, he was the lecturer in jurisprudence at the Ceylon Law College. Lalith and Sramani de Serum met in March 1978 when she was attached to United Nations Conference on Trade and Tariff UNCTAD, Switzerland. She was a friend of his brother Diantha. Sramani claims she felt attracted to Lalith, his personality and quiet good manner. When they meet again in the Philippines having gone there from Geneva for a conference. Lalith confessed it was while there that he decided to marry her. After a romance that lasted several years, they get married in June 1982 in Geneva. They had one daughter, Serala. Lalith was known to be a doting husband and father. Lalith loved the manifold beauty of nature and the value of planting a tree and he imparted this knowledge to his daughter at an early age.